If you are looking to give your outdoor space a refresh, I'm gonna share a couple of my absolute favorite cleaning and DIY ideas for my front porch. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Our front porch gets so dirty over the spring. So early summer and summer is the ideal time for me to give it a clean and a refresh. I'm gonna show you how I clean my filthy outdoor cushions on my patio furniture. I'm also gonna paint my front door a beautiful new shade. So come along with me and I'll share all of my tips and tricks as I go along. Let's get started. Our patio cushions get so disgusting. Our animals sleep on them and they just get really dirty from the winter. My favorite way to clean outdoor furniture cushions is with a pressure washer. I love this thing. I got it early this spring and it is so fantastic. Highly recommend. It's really fun to play with. So first we put soap in the pressure washer and then we put that soap mixture over all of the cushions. After that, we go ahead and we rinse that off with water and the pressure washer. Look how satisfying this is as the dirt comes right off you want to make sure to do this on a sunny day and then let the cushions just sit on your front lawn to dry and then once the one side is dry you can flip them over and let the other side dry so that there's no watermarks I left these out in the sun for about half a day and I put them back on our patio furniture on the porch and they look so beautiful. Just using some throw pillows I had on hand and some peonies from our garden to decorate the porch in a really simple manner. I like to keep things extremely simple in the summer. I don't like layers in the summer, just nice, simple, fresh, colorful decor. I also wanted to give our front door a refresh. So I'm taking off all of the hardware, giving it a clean, and then I'm taking off this old decal that I had the house number on the front. I don't know if I'm gonna put a house number back on the door once I paint it. I'm gonna think about it. Let me know if you think I should down in those comments below. I just used a spatula to remove the old door number decal and then I'm taking a sanding sponge. It's a hundred grit and just sanding the entire door. I wanna make sure my door is nice and smooth for my new paint. I'm also taking a rag and then just wiping off all of the dust to make sure my paint sticks well. I'm using some paint that I already had on hand. I would certainly recommend some exterior latex paint if you're painting a door. If it's your very first coat, just make sure to use some bonding primer first. So here's how I paint doors. I've done this many, many times and they turn out really well. First, I take a paintbrush and I paint any of the insets in my door design. So in this case, I have a six panel door and I'm just painting those inset trim parts first. Then I'm painting the bump out parts within those insets. Again, I found that just using a regular paintbrush is perfect for painting doors. I find if I use a roller or a foam roller, it can tend to leave little bumps. You also wanna make sure that you paint on a day that the weather is about 20 degrees Celsius, about room temperature, so the paint dries in the best way possible. Next, I go ahead and paint the horizontal sections of the door and then the vertical sections, going from the top to the bottom. Once that is completely dry, I just repeat the process doing a second coat. Now I'm just replacing the lock. We wanted to put a new smart lock on our door and adding the handle back in. I wanted to create a really simple summer wreath. So I'm starting with a grapevine base using my favorite faux peonies from Amazon. I will link them down in the description box below. And then some faux succulents, a mixture of ones I found on Amazon and ones from Dollar Tree. What I like about grapevine wreath bases is you can usually just stick the stems of your faux flowers right in and they stay, but I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to make sure that they stay really well outside. Now I'm placing this simple faux peony and succulent wreath on the front door. I love that it's simple. It has the greens and pinks that I'm using throughout the front porch. And I think it looks really pretty against this dark green. This dark green color on the door is called Black Evergreen and it's by Bear. So here's how my front door looks now. Again, just using some very simple decor, a black and white entry mat, some faux greenery on either side, and I love the little pops of pink that we have here.
Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this front porch refresh. Let me know what you think of it, especially the door color down in those comments below. If you want even more outdoor decorating and DIY ideas, I'm gonna leave a video for you to watch next right up here.